Assalamu uh, alaikum, the people of Syria. As you can see, we are demonstrating outside uh, number 10 Downing Street. Uh, I would like to say something very important about uh, the uh, situation in Syria. As you know, the Syrian government is distracting the whole world about what's going on in Halab to forget what is going on in Homs and the massacres and the attack they're planning to do tonight. They're planning to go into Homs, all the tanks, to roll into Homs and do more massacres in Bab Amr and Khalidiyah and in, in Sha'at. These three neighborhoods, they want to flatten them out. At the moment, every street, two buildings or five buildings at least are completely damaged in every street. So the situation is getting worse. Now regarding the explosions in Aleppo, everybody knows that nobody can reach these buildings. Nobody comes to these buildings. And also that when really an attack happens to the government building, you know, not by themselves, by somebody else, they will not allow any photographer, they will not allow any man, any press, whether government or not government, to come to these without special permission. And now today, suddenly, they brought all the press and they removed everything. When they killed Magnia, the Hezbollah man, they closed the streets for weeks. And in 1995 as well, there was a very big explosion in Damascus. The Syrian intelligence kidnapped everyone who spoke about that explosion. It was a very sensitive area. Now, today's two explosions happen in a very powerful, sensitive intelligence area. I mean, come on. How come the Syrian army can do these two huge explosions and they are being attacked in Hamas and they don't have even food? Now, Riyad Assad said in the morning that or afternoon news on Al Jazeera, he said he was he was he was uh, there. He said that there was people from the Syrian army. They attacked these security places, but by machine guns and by rockets, small rockets like RPG rockets. That's in the early morning. But then after they left, three hours later, these two explosions happened. So the Syrian army, free Syrian army, has got nothing to do with this explosion in Aleppo. Because they said that they did man-to-man -man attack with machine guns to one of these places in the early morning. But then three hours later, this explosion happened. Which the Syrian intelligence and the Syrian army and the Syrian Shabiha did to these two big buildings. Why? Because they don't want the demonstrators. They don't want the demonstrators in Aleppo to demonstrate. Because today there were plans for at least 60 locations to have demonstrations. And already happened 30 locations inside Aleppo they were demonstrating. And also about 26 outside Aleppo, on the suburbs of Aleppo. So Aleppo now as a big city is preparing itself against the regime. And that's why the regime did these two bombs in this intelligence area and the security area. So the regime is planning to scare the people of Aleppo. The same way they scared the people of Damascus, as you remember some time ago, in Damascus. I mean, the Free Syrian Army don't have food. How can they manage to attack these two big security buildings? The Syrian Free, the Free Syrian Army were attacked in Idlib in December. 120 people were killed and slaughtered by one captain. The Free Syrian Army is very, very weak. They cannot do this kind of huge explosion in Damascus and in Aleppo. And wake up, be intelligent. Where are the cameras? Ask the Syrian authority for the cameras of how these cars, they came in and how they attacked. You need thousands of permissions and thousands of papers to be close to these buildings. How come these two huge cars came close? And where's the evidence of the car? There's no evidence of the car. And the explosions, they look like they had damaged only the glass of the building. It's all wishy-washy. Please, well, wake up. Send your journalists and send everybody into Syria to help the Syrian women and Syrian children. And don't be distracted by these explosions in Aleppo and Mickey Mouse stuff that uh, uh, Maher Assad and Asif Shawkat do. These are all games by Maher Shawkat, Ma Asif Shawkat and by Maher Assad. Please, <coughs> around demonstrating the people of Aleppo and the people of Damascus. Today in Mazda, thousands and thousands were demonstrating. Nobody said anything about them on the news, except quickly. And there were, 
the, the, the police and the army were hitting them in Al Mazda and they injured 25 people of them at least inside Damascus in Al Mazda area. Go and check on the internet. So really now Syria is boiling and Assad is planning for attacks to destroy Homs and to finish the revolution but he will never. The more he kills women and children, the more the Syrians will be persistent and adamant to make the revolution win. And the neighboring countries, please try to help the Syrian people. Send them food, send them medicine, and send them everything they need. And salam alaikum people of Syria. And have a nice day.